How we doing? Oh yes, we are here. We are here. I got a mug. Ready for my mug? Life is good. Life is good. That's how that's that's how it is. This coffee is hot. Can't drink it right now. I'm waiting. We are back with another podcast, keeping it real with your boy, Luke V, Luke Vaughn. I'm here. You're here. We're good. The egg is shining. I know you guys can't really see this, but maybe you can. Right now, yesterday's podcast, I was shooting with my Canon camera. This time, we are with my GoPro. Right now, I think I'll be able to upload it, and I'm recording it in 4K. So hopefully, the visuals will be a lot better. Yesterday was a little blurry. And I think I figured out the... um the audio issues. I was struggling with, um, it's a little tight quarters right now. I was struggling because every five minutes it would cut me off and it would just stop recording. And so I would have to get up, turn it back on, redo it. And then when I edited the video, it was, it was so difficult to match up my words with my lips moving completely like in the same way. It was hard. It was hard, but I'm back. Damn, I'm stuffy. I got a tissue right there, but I have nowhere to put it. It's good, though. All right, let's get a sip of this cough. Oh, man. How's everybody doing? I'm good. Feeling good. Semester started today. Got some online classes. I got some some in in-person classes. Not today, though. Mondays and Wednesdays are my uh, go-to classes, so it is what it is. We out here learning. We are talking. I'm back. Look at this, man. I got the Supreme shirt, man. I got I got the running watch, man. I got I got the socks. Got the whiteies on. Never what is this white socks? It never even been to Chicago. Chicago, how you down? How you down? <laughs> How you guys like to relax? I, I I think the table with the whole like little gray MacBook with the silver MacBook with the silver mic with the, with the relax just simple, nice and simple. <laughs> Eventually, I'm gonna try to have like a few guests on, maybe some friends, maybe some educators, someone that can offer the listener something. So that'd be cool. Um, we'll get that. We'll get that in time. We'll get that in time. Today, I'm just talking, just spurting ideas. I finally, I finally got, I think, like I said, I think I got the time limit set with the audio. So I'm good on that. I'm, I can just talk. I got the GoPro. Also, my other camera was actually, um, it was just, it would stop recording after like a few minutes. It would be like camera, um, what was it? camera immediately had to stop recording something like that like forced to stop recording so there's probably like a time limit on that i gotta figure out all this technical stuff i'm 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 not good with computers i had an other computer before this mac and it was a lot harder so i'm actually i'm getting nice with the mac i'm getting nice i'm sure all the it guys and technology geeks are all like dude this guy doesn't know what he's talking about but we are back man we are Keeping it real, number two. Life is good. Keeping it real. How you guys like the name? How we like the podcast name? Is it good? Is it good? Is it is it is it is it, is it flowy? Is it flowy? Is that a word? So yeah, I'm trying to get. Eventually, I'm trying to have that out of here. This is a bad. Getting it out of here. This stuff in the corner. Getting it out of here. So then it'll just be me. Hopefully I can have this window. I was thinking the window would be nice just behind me and then have like a cool... Like, I'll, the picture's like... What the heck is that thing? Like, we got to get a cool picture. We got to get a cool picture. That, I got... I, I brought something. I brought something. This was in my... Sorry, this was in my bedroom for... I literally just took it out. I'm 19, about to be 20 years old. Just took this out of my bedroom. 
I've been in there for years. Look at this. I'll hang it over. <laughs> Somebody come look at this. Well, oh, dude, this is great. I got <laughs> third grade. I didn't even peep. I didn't even peep. Look at this. Bro, you can tell right here. I literally just gave up. I was, <laughs> I was, I was, oh, no, right here, yeah. So I was planning on just finishing all in marker, and then, like, it took me mad long. I remember to this day, it took me mad long to do all this, and I was sitting there like, man, I don't feel like doing it. <laughs> and I just stopped. Dude, this is supposed to be King Kong taking over New York City. <laughs> this looks like a... <laughs> oh my god. This looks like Bikini Bottom, son. This looks like Spongebob's town. And look at these birds. Look at these <laughs> These wide M's. Look at the M's in the screen. They're supposed to be birds. That is hilarious. I cannot believe my school let me make this and then put it in a picture frame. Like, that. what a waste of money to put this in a picture frame. And it was sitting in my room. For freaking, oh my god, like 10 years. That's insane. That is, that is insane. That's terrible. That is terrible. Oh, what time is it? It's 12.45. It's Tuesday, January 21st. Woke up this morning around like 8, 8.30. Went for a run around like 9.00. I'm skipping the gym today. Had to get a uh, recovery day. I'm nice and sore. I'm, I might go and stretch. I might hit the sauna. Dude, let me tell you something right now about the sauna. Change your life. I remember sitting at school, just wanting to get in that sauna, man. I remember I was watching some, some Joe Rogan podcasts, and he was gassing up the sauna. You know Rogan, dude. He's blah, 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 blah. Gassing everything up. But me, I, I had to go try it. I'm sitting there like, oh, my God. Like, I remember, I remember being at school last year, working out, and then, like, sometimes, like, like at nighttime, just, or even in the morning, just feeling all, like, naughty in my back and just, like, oh, imagine sitting in, like, 150 degrees, almost like a, a <laughs> don't want to say that. <laughs> I couldn't say sitting in a mini oven with that. That's terrible. But I'm um, sitting in just a hot room. And just your muscle, like I just imagine, I just imagine, right? Before I ever used it, even now, I still like imagine that like your muscles like go in there like all tight from like working out or just a long day sitting in a sitting in a car like this stuck, and then you go in 180 degrees, and everything just like bloop, just unravels itself. Bloop. <laughs> That's a funny sound, but um, yeah, your just muscles just like loosen. It's like ah like a sense of relief that's just what i envision goes on in my body before and still to this day i feel like that happens and it does happen like it's proven that saunas saunas dr Rhonda patrick my girl she'd she be preaching that good good but um she always talks about how healthy a sauna that's how i first found out about it just listening to her and her knowledge about the science behind a sauna and it takes down the inflammation and people that go into saunas are statistically found they've done studies on it so they found that um people that go into saunas around four or five four or five days a week 10 minutes each time um have a like what is it like a 50 percent redu reduction in all cause mortality all cause mortalities jeez i'm botching these words up but yeah i just feel good i honestly feel good like a, a nice workout, you spend 10 minutes in the sauna. <sighs> Nothing better. Nothing better. Walking out to your car in the cold. You're just steaming from the sauna. But yeah, nah, I reckon I, it feels good. It feels good for sure. <sighs> fitness. Let's talk about fitness for a little bit. What are we? Nine minutes in? This is nice. I got to get a better chair. That is... For sure, this is a little chair that I brought from my from my downstairs. From my downstairs, I got a terrible pillow. 
trying to arch my back up, but we'll get a chair. We'll get, we'll get something going. We'll get something comfy out here. What was I saying? Fitness? All right. Let me say this. So I'll be running. I'll be running April 26th. That's a Sunday. I'm running a half marathon in New Jersey. I think it's in Long Branch, New Jersey. Um, anyone who's watching this, sign up. Join my team. What was it? Lukey V Squad. I have one person on my team, and that's my friend. I asked a whole bunch of my friends to join. Some of them said they might join. Some of them said they might not. So we'll see, but I'll be running that. I'm going to be recording that on a GoPro, make a whole vlog about it, make a whole series. I'll be, um, I mean, I'm already kind of like, my legs are kind of already, I guess, not, I wouldn't say ready, but like they're, they're definitely ready to start like a, a full training plan like i ran the um so i made a video and i haven't really talked about it but um i'm, I'm gonna make a whole podcast about it the uh new york city marathon uh 2019 so last year in november a few months ago actually and um i didn't really do a training plan like i kind of just like figured out my body i got hurt like s- almost a year ago less less than a year ago i'd say nine months ago i kind of got runner's knee at the time i didn't know what that was but now looking back i had runner's knee and for anyone who doesn't know what that is and hopefully someone correct me if i'm wrong someone correct me if i'm wrong for sure but um let me just fix this audio i'm trying to trying to get the levels right i'm not trying to scream at you guys but um basically runner's knee is when you run too much too far too long whatever it is and your your body basically your knees are just not ready for it i was also a lot i wouldn't say overweight but i have i had like 20 30 pounds of like fat on top of what i am right now so my body was trying to carry that as uh, as i was running too so that that's another part of it but yeah i remember i was starting like i would run one mile and then I was starting at like one mile for like a week, week, two, two weeks. And then eventually um, I was building my way up. And then um, my mom's home, so I'm just listening to her. (laughs) But yeah, I just built my way up. And um, here, watch. Why is she going to come in? All right, no, she's not going to come in. <laughs> I'm gonna have to scream at her and then edit this, and I don't want to do that. Say so yeah, that I basically got runners knee. I was running one mile for for like two, three weeks, maybe like a month or two, and then one day I was just like, I'm gonna run a marathon. I'm gonna do it. I can do it. I feel it in my body. And then uh, I was running like eight, seven, eight miles a day, and then. After a few days of doing that, like a few days of doing that, I felt some weird pain in like my knees, and like I tried running again, and like I was at, I was going to the gym like once or twice a day, like I was getting chubby, so like I had like um I was also unhealthy, not just chubby, I was unhealthy, like my stomach. I remember I was eating like two or three tums every single day, just because my stomach was like in so much pain from just eating so much junk food like oh like I look back on it and it's like oh my god it's so oh my god (laughs) and that's that's what I think about I look back and I (laughs) I look mini stroke (laughs) but yeah and then my knee just basically gave out after trying to just be some David Goggins ass you know what I'm saying? A lot of these people say they do all this stuff, and it makes me think, like, do they really? Because, like, I could not run. Like, I stopped running for two months. Let me give you a little timeline. Let me give you a little timeline, timeline, timeline. Here we go. So this happened in, like, April of 2009. April 2019. And then I stopped running in April, May, June, and then... I was home from college in the summer, and uh, I started running again. 
And then basically that brought me to where I ran the marathon. But with with that, I knew I had to build up like stamina and leg stamina, kind of. And um, I I kind of just started slow. I kind of just started slow. I was, I was running one mile and then two, three miles, two, three, four. Hung around two or three or four for a while because I dealt with some knee pain too. That was that was a big setback as well because my I don't know if this is the only thing, but my well, I broke my leg when I was four. Not when I was fourth grade. I was nine. I had surgery on my left leg. I broke my tibia and my fibia. Um, I had surgery. I had a, what's called the external fixator, <laughs> um, and it was two two pins in the bottom of my shin right above my ankle and then two pins like four inches underneath my kneecap holding my my straight basically my shin bone in place my whole entire shin bone in place because I was playing soccer and boop snapped out bone was like sitting basically like this and it almost like went through my skin so that's that was pretty crazy I'd surgery on that twice but that being said the leg that I broke is actually longer like almost like a like a quarter of an inch, if not maybe like a half an inch, maybe an inch, I don't know, is a, is is quite a bit longer than my right leg. So I was dealing with a lot of knee pain, and what I eventually did, with what I think I solved, um, is I put a, a, a Dr. Scholl insole in my right foot, so I raised my, raised my foot kind of, so they're kind of running even now. So basically, in my mind, I was feeling like my mo- my whole entire kinetic chain of everything was being thrown off because I was off balance. Basically, I was off balance. So that really helped. But I was still not training the correct way you should for a marathon, especially looking back at it. And also, now looking back at it, I run completely different. I was, I was straight heel striking. I basically heel striking every single time I ran. And now looking back at it, I ran a marathon straight heel striking. That's insane. But um, now I run on the balls of my feet. Nothing goes in front of my 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 lead knee. So if whatever step I'm taking, whatever like leg that is, my whole entire body. Even though I'm like kind of leaning forward for the most part, like keeping my center of gravity nice and nice and even, nothing really passes my front knee. So when I'm running. It's my front, like, this will be my, this is my knee. My front knee is always leading the pack. Always leading the pack. And that changed everything. That changed everything. So now, like, I run every single day. I, I really don't feel sore. I know once I'm going to, I know once I pick up the mileage and all that stuff and the intensity, and that's going to that's gonna be a challenge. It's going to be sore. I'm going to have to deal with some, some fatigue and some lactic acid problems <laughs> but um I'm excited for it yeah I'm definitely gonna have to do a full a full training and like I said I have a few friends that said they want to do it so I'll have my training plan and maybe they'll join me for some for some sessions and um if anybody's a runner and, and cares I ran the marathon at six like six hours six hours and seven minutes not fast, not fast, nothing, nothing to brag about in speed, nothing to brag about when it comes to pace, that's almost like a four, 14, 15 minute pace, I, yeah, I went pee and stuff, but I used the bathroom and stopped and stretched every once in a while, but um, yeah, this, this one, I'm coming up, I'm definitely going to be trying to go for time, because now that I'm running, I'm basically, let's see what, I, I ran two and a half miles today, let's see what I ran, let me see my split pace. So this week, yeah, so this week, so just today, just today, it was, um, it was 25 minutes for 2.66, so that's basically 9.29, so nine minutes, nine and a half minutes, nine and a half minute mile, all right, so yeah, I'm still not sprinting, so it was just a warm-up, it was just not a warm-up, but just a, a morning run, I'm really, I want to make a video about like my best mile like I never went fully fully hard in the paint in the mile so maybe I could make something cool of it that'd be cool um the treadmill treadmill I cannot run on a treadmill I will say this forever it's so much easier 
run in the neighborhood. You run a half, even if you run a half mile down the road, you have to run another half mile back just to get home. So right there, you got a mile. So that's just like, I kind of like that. And it's just aesthetically pleasing and fresh air, blah, 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 all that good stuff. But um, a treadmill, yeah, I'll be on there for like 10 minutes and be like, is it an hour yet? <laughs> What's going on? Like, I, it's so boring. It's so boring. And, and personally, like, just like the way it's like, it's like fake running. I don't know. I just, I don't know. If it's like, I feel like it's like negatively affecting my knees and I don't know. Even though the pavement's hard. Yeah, I know that. But still, I just don't really like a treadmill. I prefer the street. Um, luckily, I run around pretty wide, wide streets, quiet neighborhoods, so thankful for that because the, the busy streets like you can't really run on that you're about to get hit by a car like that sucks that's annoying looking out you're looking out for traffic 90 percent of the run like I, I don't like doing that uh so yeah i'm definitely gonna get a training plan i'm not really sure maybe like a 10 week maybe like a 7 8 week maybe like a 12 week i'm gonna look up for um a half marathon just to throw that out there what is that 13.1 miles um, yeah, hopefully we run through, I know it's in Long Branch, I know it's like towards the beach, I'm hoping that we run on the boardwalk, maybe hop on the, the beaches, neighborhoods and stuff, that'd be cool, that'd be cool, um, I don't know what I'm, if I run with like a few, like a squad, like dude, I want to bring like a little backpack, get a speaker, I'm gonna have the GoPro, that would be cool, that'd be fun, but um, so yeah, that's that. I'll have a whole podcast about, like, my whole entire New York City marathon experience. You know what I'm saying? Because that, that, that's, a, that's a whole experience. In it. That's the largest marathon in the world. And it, it, was, it was an experience. And like, I remember, like, being done with it. And, like, dude, like, I'm not trying to. <laughs> my mom was like, you should sign up for it again for next year. It's like, and I remember thinking, like, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that one, Bob. But, um. Uh, now, now looking back, I, I'm I'm actually gonna sign up for it. I'm gonna put my name in. January 29th is the drawing. Anyone who wants to run the New York City Marathon, January 29th, I believe, is when it starts. When you can put your name in the raffle, and then, if not, you can get a charity like I did. That's what I did. So you don't even have to worry about the raffle. But when it comes to a raffle, like I'd rather just pay the whatever I gotta pay to get in, and instead of asking for everybody to donate to me. That was, that was nice, though. Got, got a good donation, and I'll talk about that later. But, yeah, I'm trying to run the half marathon. That'll be fun. That'll be fun. <clears throat> I've been, I guess you could say I've been weight training a little bit heavier than I was, obviously, when I was training for the marathon. I was really burning hella calories and on the bike burning calories and just getting my body just used to, burning calories I was I was also a little chubby and like I had a goal I knew training and running a marathon was gonna get me in shape so like I knew that like I was getting in good shape I was getting in good shape but I knew that last like month and a half two months before the marathon like when I'm really have to like kind of bring my body to that peak like I knew I was gonna get in good shape and I did and I did I lost a lot of weight lost a lot of body fat and, like, I finally got, like, abs, and that was something that, like, I always wanted, like, as much as, like, that's, like, a goofy goal now, like, looking back at it. But, like, dude, like, I was out of shape. I was chubby, and, like, now I got a six-pack. Like, that's lit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that is lit. But I'll probably make, a, I'll probably make a, uh, like, a video talking about that, too. I hope the lighting's good. Like the goalie. What's today? Monday? Tuesday? Is there any sports on today? Probably college sports. <laughs> Not the biggest college. Like March Madness is fun. National championship game, LSU. Odell Beckham, what are you doing? That's why the Giants got rid of your... F- this guy's something else, bro. This guy's slapping the freaking security guy on his, on his behind. This guy think he is. Who does this guy think he is? Wolf of Wall Street, handing out money in the freaking in the field, on TV. What is this guy? I'm sick of it. Go get, go catch a touchdown. Go make a playoff game. 
go to the go to the freaking playoffs. Playoffs? Talking about playoffs? Odell Beckham ain't talking about playoffs. That's what I'm saying. He's in Miami Beach. Remember that when remember he was on the Giants? I think I think they had a playoff game. And they go to Miami before they had the playoff game and they're game with the shirts off. Odell and the boy. And then Odell <laughs> dropped all these passes, man. This is ridiculous. Get to the playoffs, Odell. That's my wearing a Richard Millie. Wearing a Richard Millie, this guy. That's a nice watch. That's a nice watch. Give him that. Give him that. Life is good. I'll give him that. (laughs) Oh, man. Feeling good. Feeling sore. I'm going to knock a couple out today. This was just me talking. This was just me talking. Spurring ideas. Messing with the GoPro edit. Messing with the... Messing with the audio. I'm coming at you with content. I'm coming at you with content. Subscribe, stay tuned. Show love. Show love. I'm going to probably post maybe a few podcasts today. I'm going to get my whole podcast library going on. Get that. I'm going to be talking about books. Like I could sit here, pull up a book I talk about or that I read. I could talk about that for 30 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Like, books with knowledge at baby so yeah I'll be talking about everything soccer soccer transfers are coming up Paul Pogba wants out of Man U we can let's talk about it let's talk about it you know let's talk about it my boy Paul Ronaldo is not the top of top of the world anymore it's falling off a little bit have to admit it dude Talk about it. Baseball. Jose Altuve. What are you doing? What are you doing cheating on my Yanks? Turn this hat around. This is, this is a Yankees fan right here. I'll be wearing a Yankees hat soon, too. And I'm making a whole podcast about that. Because that is... They cheated us. And what, what is his name? Alex Carra, Carrera? Whatever his name is. The guy for the, the coach on Boston. Cheated us, too. Yankees lost twice. To Boston... Uh, what was it? 2018? 2019? Lots of the other cheaters, the Astros. Game seven, walk off. Don't grab my hood. Don't break my jersey, man. You know, you know we're cheating. Fucking dude, my wife, dude, dude. You kidding me? You kidding me right now? Psh. Psh. <laughs> nah, but for real, keeping it real. What? A, life is good. Life is good. Stay tuned, subscribe, show love. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.